We all know and love Tom Ford, but they have so many. Let's talk about the top five for fall, that is. Let's get on into it. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here. Yes, we're doing my top five fragrances from the house of Tom Ford. Super excited. This will be a combination of their signature line as well as their private line, the private line, the more elevated line. These are fragrances that are tried and true. I have a lot of thoughts on. And by the way, none of these are new releases, so you know I have spent some time. In fact, some of these I've spent years with, literal years. It's gonna be a fun list and I'm excited to get on into it. But as always, lipstick of the day today, everyone. We're in full on fall mode and I wanted something kind of deep and dark. And this is from MAC and this is a MAC Diva Lipstick. Let me know what you think in the comments below and it will be linked so you don't have to worry about that. Next up we have a fragrance of the day. This one you can consider to be an honorable mention. It almost made this list, but I don't reach for it enough so that wouldn't have been right. And the fragrance I'm referring to though is Tom forward and this is rose prick pretty fragrance very much a spicy rose type of scent i do like her i don't love her which i've already done a dedicated review on this fragrance and i told y'all about how i really feel about it it's a like it's okay hence why it's an honorable mention for the sake of this video this is absolutely a cold weather scent for sure a cold weather take on rose so i like it for that reason so fragrance of the day is tom ford's rose prick again the full dedicated review is already up on the channel for this one. So without further ado, let's start at number five. In the number five spot, that goes to Tom Ford's, what's this right here? Sun Towel Blush, AKA the Clear Bottle, as I like to call it. I love the Clear Bottle version. This bottle has like three different reiterations at this point. There's an all dark brown bottle. There's a clear bottle with the brown top, which is the newest one. Then there was also this version. I was excited to get this version, just saying. Let me know which version is your favorite of Sun Towel Blush and which one do you own? Cause I know a lot of you all do own this fragrance else. So top to me yes santal blush is number five to me like i told y'all in its dedicated review that is already up on the channel this smells like creamy spices to me creamy woody spices so a perfect daytime scent very chill this is very much on that clean girl aesthetic in my opinion type of a fragrance it's not a fragrance you're wearing to wow people but because of that spiciness and that creaminess this is absolutely perfect for fall and that's when i started to think about this one i moved it up to the front of my time for collection because i was like hmm I'm starting to think about Santal Blush a little bit more. So that's why I had to give it the number five spot. Just a refresher on the notes. With Santal Blush, it's considered a classic woody type of scent, an earthy woody scent. And the key notes in here are sandalwood, of course. There's some cinnamon in here and some ylang ylang. But again, creamy woody spices is what this is. So if you like that earthy vibe, but you still want it in a perfume form, Tom Ford Santal Blush will be the one for you. So again, Tom Ford Santal Blush is the number five fragrance for this fall list. In the number four spot, this one is extremely significant to me because this was the one I first purchased from Tom Ford. And this is a fragrance that has been in my collection for at least six to seven years. That's how strongly I feel about this fragrance. I've talked about it in length multiple times on the channel, but in the number four spot, this is a four lifer, but for the sake of this video, number four, for fall from Tom Ford. This is Tom Ford's Velvet Orchid. I got a hefty dent in this one. This is my third bottle of this fragrance and I love it so much that I've also repurchased the travel size of it many a times because if you all recall, Elves, this was my going out scent for years, especially like around 2015, 2016, that era of life. This was my scent, this was my signature fragrance. So I more so wore it in the transition period. So end of summer going into fall, that's why for me, this is the number four spot. So it can't be number one, but I do enjoy wearing it when it's still a little bit slightly warmer. You know, it's gonna be like 75 as the high in the daytime, but then the evening it's gonna drop down to 50. This is that type of fragrance to wear. It's very feminine, very sexy. And this is just that OG Tom Ford. Like this was that Tom Ford again that started it all for me. So I'm always love Velvet Orchid. Velvet Orchid is the one. Like, and y'all know this, no stranger to the channel, but just a refresher. It has some key notes in here of honey. There's of course Velvet Orchid in here. And then there's some vanilla. And there's a whole bunch of other notes in here because OG Tom Ford used to blend and mix a lot back in the day. Oh, and this lasts all freaking night. So feminine, so sexy. You wanna leave a lasting impression? <sighs> yes, Velvet Orchid. But for the sake of fall, it is in the number four spot. And it is a four lifer for me. If they ever try to discontinue Velvet Orchid, I am buying the biggest backup bottle I can get. And I'm so serious about that. <laughs> So Tom Ford's Velvet Orchid is the number four spot. In the number three spot, this is one that, if it was another season, it would be ranked higher. But in the number three spot, it has to go to Tom Ford's Bitter Peach, you all. 
And y'all know something. I love me some bitter peach. I've done multiple videos talking about this fragrance. It does have its own dedicated review already up on the channel. And it also has a versus video against Lost Cherry. So that's another video you can check out too in your own leisure. Because oftentimes people ask which one is the better one to get. And you want to know my answer? Watch that video. <laughs> but alas, you all, Tom Ford's Bitter Peach. This is boozy peach is what it is. And I appreciate that. This isn't peach rings. This isn't gummy peaches. This is peaches soaked in bourbon and rum is what this is. And I love it. Absolutely, it's peach, it's blood orange, and patchouli is in here. And yes, there is rum and a whole bunch of other notes. But there's already dedicated review again, so definitely check that out if you want to know more information about Bitter Peach. The reason this is number three is because this is another fragrance that I actually wear more so in the summer months, but it's an excellent transition scent. In fact, if you saw my transition scent list for this year, I did have Bitter Peach on there. So this is a fabulous scent for going from summer to fall when the weather's still trying to figure it out excellent fragrance for that and i love it so this is the number three spot love me some bitter peach and i've actually used up half of my little bottle i'm proud of that so i'll eventually upgrade to the 50 mil for sure but i love bitter peach and it's your number three spot for this list for tom ford y'all in the number two spot this is one that everybody knows everybody talks about people love it people hate it but you gotta put respect on this fragrance because the girls were not talking about cherry until this fragrance dropped and that is none other than tom ford's lost cherry hands down i love to wear this in the fall time i just do it's the number two spot y'all keynotes of black cherry we got tonka bean and almond and i fully agree with it let me tell you something i am a sucker for anything with almond in it y'all know this elves this has cherry and almond mixed together and this is just grown folks cherry that's why this is number two now i've already done a dedicated review on this fragrance and as stated previously i also did the versus video against the bitter peach fragrance and y'all know how i feel about that but when it comes to fall i gotta admit just like full-on fall not transition none of that Lost Cherry is my pick, so that's why I ranked it higher than Bitter Peach in this video. <laughs> now, granted, the longevity is not the best in this fragrance. Just saying it's not, hence why your girl did get the big 100 ml bottle, so therefore I can bathe in the scent, I can decan it out. I don't have to worry about it. I can just do whatever I want with this fragrance because this is one I continue to wear. And I've had it, what's this, about two years now? Yeah, I've had this bottle for two years and it's still going strong. I have a big dent in it. <laughs> I'm gonna be sad when I run out of this bottle because ooh, Lost Cherry is one that, ooh, that price is like practically almost $400 now, but mm, okay, but it's good juice. I love it. I know they've come out with the electric cherry and the cherry smoke this year, but you don't need those in my opinion if you already have lost cherry. Those are nice to have in my opinion, but lost cherry is the one that started it all. I'm always gonna be team original. It's just how I feel about that. So then the number two spot again, Tom Ford's Lost Cherry makes the list for my Tom Ford Ferguson's for fall. So I know y'all probably like, wait a minute, you talked about Lost Cherry, you didn't talk about Bitter Peach, which those are like always the main two fragrances I always talked about. So what could possibly be number one? And I'm gonna tell you, this is a fragrance I know I repurchased at least three times. And I also have its travel size of it too, have repurchased it multiple times as well. Tried and true OG. And this is none other than Tom Ford's Noir Pour Femme. This is my number one fragrance from Tom Ford for fall, y'all. Just unfortunately, Tom Ford decided to cut this one and discontinue it. But I will say, I do see it still popping up in the cosmetic company store. I've seen it at least three times in there, so that gives me hope. I said the next time I see it, I do need to go ahead and pick up a backup bottle because I do love this scent so much. It is my absolute number one fragrance from Tom Ford for fall. I love this packaging. I know they have the Noir Extreme for men, but they don't hit the same. It's not, it ain't feminine sexy. Like this is femme fatale sexy right here. Let me get into some of the notes for you all. Cause I recognize a lot of people may have missed out on this fragrance. A lot of people got into their fragrance journey after you got discontinued that type of thing but you know it has a ton of notes in it it's some ginger in here some bitter peach mandarin orange bergamot yeah rose orange blossom jasmine we got amber sandalwood it's just a lot going on in here it's feminine but it's almost borderline unisex and that's what i enjoy about it this was always more so that end of fall going into winter type of scent so it's cold at that point we didn't turn the heat on we wearing hoodies we in sweatpants we got the fireplace going that is when i pulled this out that's this type of fragrance when you pull it out towards the end of fall yes i love this one i really wish they would bring it back and of course like i say i always have the travel size too i can top it off especially under my thick sweaters this is amazing under and it warms up and heats up so well off of the skin. So Elves, if you still have this one, please pull it back out. It's an oldie, it's been a minute. This fragrance is like almost 10 years old at this point, but pull it back out, it's still good. 
And like I said, it's number one for fall for me out of Tom Ford. So that wraps up my top five fragrances from the house of Tom Ford for fall 2023. Elves, let me know your thoughts. Do you agree with my list? Do you like some of the fragrances I talked about? Do you disagree with them? Also, let me know your top five from Tom Ford because they have so many fragrances that literally people's lists can be like completely different from mine and I totally understand. I get it. <laughs> so let me know your thoughts. Let me know your top five in the comments below. And then, yeah, I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.